course you just saw that they just released that new update for the npc <laughs> the akai force excuse me they're making it into an npc obviously did you see the software you must have seen the software i did a little video on it the software is coming out of nowhere with that software. there it is right there this is it the this is the software right here for you to check it out and this is the new update they've got going. It's the beta 3.5 for the force. But look, it's like NPC stuff going on here. It's like they got this thing here. Uh, roll down further, further, further. NPC-like stuff. NPC-like sequences. Stem separation. Follow actions. What? Tempo automation. Whoa. Hey, they like... It's like all NPC stuff pretty much here. They're going back to the NPC. They're putting other stuff from the NPC. They, now you can do the sub-factory, the low-fly dirt. And they also got the Delay Pro. Oh, I got that one. I got that one. I got that I got that. And it also has stems. I got that. I got that. I guess you got it too, right? They're giving it to everybody. You got me? They're doing it up. Okay, cool. So look, the real deal here is that we got a brand new NPC update coming soon. The problem for Akai is that there's still 2.15, which you see right now I am on, and on the hardware it's 3.40. It's been in beta for a while. They gotta say, okay, we give in, we're gonna fix everything for you. We're gonna give you everything in 3.5, let's say, and there's no more beta, and now we'll have everything like that. You can't do 6.8 or 3.4 inside of the MPC 3.4.3, right? So they update that. Once that's updated, they will start looking at the idea of a new MPC. But first, these two things gotta work, the standalone and the software. Now, once they do, they'll put it together. Now, when you'll know when this happens is when the FCC, Federal Communication Commission, okays their next product or whatever in there. Of course, it's important. They have Bluetooth. They got Wi-Fi. You know, people are worried about that Wi-Fi going through those breast implants. No, you got my idea. Anyway, this is the code for a music brands when they do release something. It's Y40. That's right, Y40. Everything they make is under that code inside of the FCC, Federal Communication Commission. Now, before this new software launches, I want you to back everything up. I'm going to go right here and help you out so you know what to do when you start to upgrade your MPC. Check this out. Hello everyone, this is Riley from InMusic, and this video will show you how to update both your MPC software and firmware. Now I'll be doing this on a Mac, but the process is virtually identical on both Mac OS and Windows computers. I'll be sure to point out any steps that are different. Before we get started, it's important to mention that Akai typically releases software and firmware update versions together so that software and hardware NPCs all share the same functionality. With this in mind, it's always recommended to run software and firmware updates when new versions are released, so that both your software and your MPC's firmware are running the same point versions. First, let's cover updating your MPC software. This process is pretty straightforward. If there's an update available, MPC will tell you right when you open the software and provide you with a button to download the update. Alternatively, you can access any software updates in your InMusic account by going to akaipro.com, clicking Account in the top right corner and logging in, and under your Product Registrations, clicking View Downloads under your MPC, and under Software Downloads, click MPC 2.11 Desktop Software, which is the most recent version at the time of this video's production, and download the installer for your operating system. 
The installer will download as a zip file, which you have to extract before running. On Mac OS, double-click the zip file, and it'll extract automatically into a folder in the same location. On Windows, double-click the zip file and click and drag the installer to your desktop or other location. The installer can't run while it's still in the zip file. So now I'll run the installer, and on the opening screen, select whichever product you'll be using with the MPC software. For me, that's an MPC Live 2. Then click Install MPC Software, and follow the installation prompts. Once that's done, click on Install MPC Live Driver. You'll need this whether you're using Mac OS or Windows. Your computer will need to restart after installing the driver, as the software tells us here, so click OK, and just follow the installation prompts to get the driver installed, then restart your computer. Once your computer restarts, you'll be able to open the MPC software, and we can check and see that it's been updated to the most recent version. Now that your MPC software is up to date, let's move on to updating your MPC's firmware. There are three methods you can use to do this, but before we get into those, it's a good idea to back up your MPC's data. Updates can be tricky sometimes, so make sure all your projects and data are stored in a safe, separate drive, just in case. Additionally, we recommend disconnecting any other USB or MIDI devices from your computer and closing all other running software if possible. Next, connect your provided power cable to your MPC and plug the other end into a power outlet. And also disconnect any MIDI cables that may be plugged into the MIDI ports. Now power on your MPC, and after it boots up, tap Empty Project, then press the Menu button, and tap the gear icon to open the Preferences menu. As you can see here in the Info tab, my MPC Live 2 is running firmware version 2.10.1, which is out of date, so let's get that updated. A quick side note, if your MPC is running firmware older than version 2.10, you'll have to hold the Shift key to access this update menu, which you'll need for any of the following update methods. The first firmware update method I'll cover here is updating via a USB connection. In the Preferences menu on your MPC, tap Update, then tap switch to update mode, and you'll get a notification that your MPC will restart in update mode and that you need to download a firmware update from the Akai Pro website. So let's download that now. Log into your InMusic profile at akaipro.com, and on your registered products page, click view downloads next to your MPC, and you'll see a firmware section. Click MPC 2.11 firmware update, then download the MPC 2.11 update for either Mac or PC. This will download as a zip file on Mac OS and an EXE file on Windows. On Mac OS, simply double click the zip file to extract it in the same location. And on a PC, simply double click it to run the firmware updater. Next, connect your provided USB cable to your MPC, then plug the other end into a USB port on your computer. On your MPC's screen, tap Update and wait for it to restart in update mode. Then simply open the updater on your computer and click Update MPC to update your firmware. Another method you can use to update your MPC's firmware is using a removable USB storage device. First, make sure the removable drive you want to use is formatted using either XFAT or FAT32. In your InMusic profile, under the Firmware section of the Downloads page, click MPC 2.11 Firmware Update then download MPC 2.11 Update USB, which will download as a disk image file. Plug in your removable USB drive into your computer, and click and drag the image file to the root of the drive, meaning it should be placed right in your drive's default location and not in any folders. Then eject your USB drive once the transfer finishes. Now plug your USB drive into a USB port on your MPC. Then in the Preferences menu, tap Update, then tap USB Drive Update. Your MPC will find the updater in your USB drive and begin the firmware update. Finally, if you're updating your firmware from version 2.10 or later, you also have the option to update it via an online connection. Before attempting to do this, make sure your MPC is connected to the internet, either via a wired ethernet connection, or via Wi-Fi if your MPC has that option. So in the Preferences menu, tap Update, then tap Online Update, 
and your MPC will automatically scan for firmware updates online and allow you to update your firmware to the most recent version. So that's how you get your MPC software and firmware updated to the latest versions. A quick note before we wrap up. If you're having trouble trying to update your MPC's firmware, make sure that you're using the power supply that came with the unit. Power supplies that don't supply the correct voltage and or amperage can cause issues while attempting to update. And of course, as always, to access the Akai Pro knowledge base or to reach out to the Akai Pro support team for further assistance, head over to akaipro.com forward slash support. Thanks as always for tuning in. I'll catch you next time. Okay, that's it right there. You got it. That's what happened. That's what's going to happen. And of course, that's what does happen when you do it. So make sure you're ready to go. Oops, sorry about that. And you've got everything organized. That's important. Any questions, hit me up at samkings.com, of course, and look out for my next video. I'll see you in a few.